Hi, I got a question for you guys. How we can view the IP camera from any desktop? This is a very tricky question. Unlike the photo and the video file, we can click the file and watch the video. But when we watch the live video from the camera, actually we are taking a live stream. There's no file we can click. So usually we, do, we should have the software to catch the stream from the camera and display on the monitor. So it's software related. The first rule, if you want to watch the live video from the camera, you should ask the software from your supplier. And there are this different kind of version. If you're using the Mac like this one, you need to get the Mac version. And if you have the Windows 10, you should get the Windows 10 Windows version. There's some even some other version like the Chromebook. Okay, now let's take this camera for example. This is the IP camera. I've connected the camera to this POE switch. So I don't need to have the power source to supply the camera. The POE switch, you supply the power and data for the camera. And the router also attached to this POE switch. And so the camera can be online. We can view the camera remotely. And the first thing is I need to connect the POE switch, connect my, route, my MacBook to the POE switch. I also can connect to the router. There's no difference as long as they stay in the same network. Okay, I'm going to use the wire cable and I pick one of the PoE port and this is the network port of, from this mo MacBook. Okay, now let's move to the software. This is the software coming with the camera. First, let me log into the software and now let's move to the device manager. From here, we can add the device and I click the IP search. Once I click the IP search, the software will send a message to the local network and try to find any camera connecting to the same network. Okay, now the software already discovered the camera and we also can see the IP address of the camera. Okay, just click, let me add the camera to the software and move back to the monitor. From here, let's double click the camera. We can see the camera's live. We can see the live video from camera. And I also can zoom in, zoom out. Use th this is motorized zoom camera, so I can zoom in or zoom out. But not all the camera has this feature. Your camera need to have the optical zoom lens so you can zoom in and zoom out. What if you don't have the software or your producer doesn't supply the software version you need, like the Mac version or Chromebook? In this case, you may still can watch the camera on the desktop. But you need to make sure the camera support on with protocol and it can supply RTSP streaming. The RTSP is the standard protocol to live stream the video. So if your camera supply the RTSP feature and it can stream the video by using the RTSP format, then we can use the VLC software to catch the streaming and display on the desktop. Okay, now let's move to the desktop again to try the RTSP with this camera. This is the page you can download the VLC player. And the VLC player is cross-platform software and it's open source. There's free of charge. Okay, I have downloaded the software. And the next thing we need to do is we need to get the IP address and the RTSP common for the camera. This is the RTSP common for this camera. The first section is the IP address and also the port and the username and password. It may not work with your camera, you need to consult your supplier or try to find the RTSP common for your camera. Okay, now let me just copy this common and place to the network streaming and click open. Okay, now we can see the camera from the monitor. Let's just mute the audio. There's no microphone built into the camera. And the VLC player, you can even install it on the smart TV and watch the IP camera on your smart TV. So the key is your camera needs to support ONV protocol and it can provide RTSP common. In that case, you can almost watch the IP camera across any platform because the VLC player support multiple platforms, including Mac, PC, Chromebook, and Linux. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in the comment section below. See you next time.